Greetings ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Minecraft. I'm Zerosgoth, your host, and today we are looking at this thing. This is an analog clock in Minecraft. As you can see, it just moved. What is it really? Well, it's, it's, you know how you have a clock, probably in your living room, that does not display time in a digital fashion, but rather in a analog fashion. You know, with the, with the, you know, with the things, that thing, and thingamajigs. Great description, me. Anyway, this is that in Minecraft. This is using the snapshots to, uh, to use the uh, little, uh, what, what are they called again, S uh, daylight detectors. Um, the daylight detectors, say if you don't know, if you haven't, uh, if you are not keeping up with the snapshot, um... Daylight detectors, they basically change the um, strength of the redstone signal that they send depending on the time of day, or at least the amount of sunlight, only sunlight, not like glowstone or lamps or something like that, only sunlight that gets to them. So right now, as you can see, uh, there is, it moved again. The Depending on where the sun is, and with that, you know, how... Uh, how much sunlight is actually getting on the um, the daylight uh, detectors? Um, the signal changes strength, and this clock moves. Now, the reason there are 15 numbers instead of you know the normal 12 on a clock is because the maximum signal strength in Minecraft is 15. So, using that, I made a f basically a 15-digit clock. Um, um, it it um the uh, just like a just like a regular clock uh, that's where I want to go just like a regular clock, it goes around two circles in 24 hours or in case of Minecraft two circles in 10 minutes since a Minecraft a full Minecraft day is 10 minutes five minutes day five minutes night, and that's what this clock does it goes around two circles in one Minecraft day. Um, the um, the mechanics behind it, the redstone uh, machine behind this, isn't all that complicated. It's a lot of repeating, um, but I don't. But I'm not the best at explaining things. I mean, look how much uh, how much difficulty I have displaying a freaking clock. But uh, you know what? Let's let's just take a look at the redstone. Yes, it may seem a bit daunting at first, but it already gets a lot simplifi simplified a lot if you are not accounting for the fact that you need to actually have it hook up to a clock. Um, that's all what this all is for. Um, the real signal that, um, that comes out of this thing, depending on the time of day, is with this piece of redstone or this repeater. At least this line, these lines. And you can basically shorten them shorten them to well to that to the repeater you know this right now this one is on and that means that as we can see the sun is almost at its peak it's midday it's as good as midday it won't change until you know midday is gone so it's it's noon it's basically my uh, noon in minecraft right now these are the three daylight detectors, as you can see, daylight sensors, never mind, I call them detectors, they are sensors. These are the three daylight sensors that uh, control the entire thing, using a few comparators to uh, make sure that their signal strength stays what it is. I'm, I'm also not really going to explain that, since, as I said, I suck at explaining. And if you've seen a, a snapshot video explanation thing, Snapshot, ex snapshot explanation video is more of a correct order, then you will already know what these things do. So I'm using that. I'm using some pistons uh, to... Because the thing is, once noon is over, the signal here will actually start decreasing. This, this lower line is for the increasing signal from going from midnight all the way to noon which is on this side, um, almost, this side is almost noon. Um, but anyway, the signal increases, the signal then goes into these, uh, 
these machines that turn the signal that make the signal last for a certain length which is important because I don't want a constant signal the con that gets turned into a constant signal that resets all of the other signals yeah really it's not all that complicated but it was quite a bit of work to figure it out since I'm not I'm not the biggest redstone uh, expert around I mean most of these things well I mean the entire thing is my design but some of the um, smaller circuits like uh, for instance a little piece like that really is not my design um, so once it gets to noon the signal goes uh, the signal has to decrease but it won't it won't really react to the signal disappearing here to fix that I made a second line that only uh, activates once um, you know once this uh, RS nor latch gets triggered um, yes this video does require you to have some basic knowledge of things because otherwise you will have no idea what I'm talking about but anyway that RS nor latch which then makes the entire thing use this upper signal and this is a inverted signal so it reacts when the signal disappears so right now that one just disappeared and as soon as the signal weakens even more this redstone will go out this torch will turn on and that will send the signal to the next uh, digit on the clock so that's really how it works and I really can't explain it any better than that if you want someone to explain it better yeah I'm, I'm not ju I'm just not the designated person to uh, properly explain things I, I'm no Seth Blank when it comes to explaining Seth Blank can explain things very clearly I can't really well, m most redstoners can actually properly explain things. I can't. Uh, I'm just not that good at explaining. Then again, it's also, with redstone, it's mainly also a case of you have to be able to see it. You have to be able to understand it. You need some basic knowledge before you can actually really start getting into the more complicated and big projects like this. Although, like I said before, this isn't all that complicated and or big. But anyways, um, so yeah, that's really all. Um, right now we're just looking at the clock. Um, and I really have nothing more to say. If, uh, if you want to check it out for yourself, I'll make sure to put a world download link in the uh, description of this video. Um, and that's that's really uh, that's really all uh, all I wanted to tell you guys in this video. So yes, this is me working with the new snapshot with the daylight detectors. It's basically a completely useless machine, especially since you know we already actually have clocks in Minecraft here under tools. We have this clock, and this is a much much better representation of how late it actually is. Plus. This design won't work underground unless you actually have direct daylight getting onto the daylight sensors. So all in all, it's a completely useless machine, but it's fun. I mean, that's part of the fun, right? You don't have to make super complex but useful machines like automatic farms and such when you can make just stupid stuff that does nothing but is really cool to look at. Also, if you think the design for the clock is ugly, excuse me, but I'm no aesthetics builder. I build machines that do things, even if the things they do are completely useless. Anyway, that's that's all I have to say. Um, I will just end it here. So, this has been Zerosgoth saying, there is no time to waste. Get it? Because it's a clock. It's funny. Actually, it isn't. I'll just shut up now. Goodbye, farewell.